What's up, YouTube? It's Gucci. Back at it again with another tier list. Uh, and the same as last time, if you'd like the raw Twitch footage with all the chat, uh, the emotion, the discussion, link in the description below, along with all the social media links. But this time, we have the Mario Party tier list. And I feel like this is one I'm actually fairly confident and fluent in. I feel like I can actually give a lot of insight because I feel like some of these are sleeper picks. I feel like some of these are overhyped, things like that. So I'm actually going to detail uh, probably a little bit more descriptively than uh, I normally would with things because uh, I have a lot of opinions about Mario Party for uh, absolutely no reason besides I speedrun it and it's a good part of my childhood and it's a good part of my adulthood. So uh, I'm going to try to go in order, but uh, first things first, I'm actually going to <clears throat> excuse me, take out the ones that I haven't played yet just to declutter everything. So, uh, Mario Party Advance, the E-Reader, Island Tour, and, um, oh, uh, what's, the, um, I forgot what S the SR one was, um, gosh darn it, now I have to look that up. So, uh, Star Rush, okay. Was that like a 3DS one? I don't even, I don't even know which one that was. But those, uh, I haven't played, haven't touched, uh, nada about it. I I know of Advance, I know of Island Tour. I actually thought E-Reader was just part of Advance kind of thing. Uh, and then uh, whatever one the SR one, I already forgot Star Rush or something like that. I feel like that's a 3DS one, but I honestly cannot remember it. But uh, without further ado, I'll actually probably do a few of these out of order because. Uh, a lot of the good ones are kind of bunched up and I don't really want to have like a lot of good ones in one area and a lot of bad ones in other areas and things like that. So uh, without further ado, we'll start out with number 10, which I actually thought was um, fair. Actually, I feel like these are a little out of order. There we go. That's what I like. Uh, 10, fairly disappointing. Uh, I remember I was going to do a Mario Party 10 giveaway and play a lot of Mario Parties that day. And it just like the Bowser gimmick didn't really do anything and I felt like it lost a lot of charm from nine. I know people didn't like nine. Nine was definitely not the greatest. But I I don't I didn't have that emotional attachment to a lot of the mini games. That the gimmick wasn't good, the boards were just even more plain than nine was. So ten, definitely, definitely a little a little rough there. Two, this is definitely one of the ones that is uh, among the top, among people, it's either their favorite or their second favorite kind of kind of thing. I can see why, because uh, it just took uh, the skeleton of one and improved it in almost every way. Even the games that they brought over, they kind of, you know, tweaked it a little bit to make it a little bit better. The costumes were great, uh, actual items, the boards were intriguing, and the new games they brought over really memorable really fun didn't hurt palms kind of thing so uh number two is easily a top tier mario party like no if ands or buts it's fantastic and for whatever reason it's also the only one they brought over to like wii virtual console so it's just easily accessible too you don't even have to have the cart uh which is nice because that's actually the only like mario party besides five that i don't have the cart or disc about kind of thing so Number four, and I think this is the one that's actually transparent, yes. Number four, I thought was a massive disappointment. Um, and it's weird for me to say that because as a kid, uh, young teenager, I actually played Mario Party 4 a ton. I am absolutely enthralled with the story mode. I love the presence idea. A lot of the mini games were good. The boards felt a little hit or miss. I, I like the ideas, I like the themes, but I feel like the execution is a little rough. Uh, the items, they downplayed the items so much. These probably have some of the worst, if not like the worst items in the series. I have no idea like what the hell they were thinking. Like I felt like that Nintendo just did so incredibly well with 3 and then they reverted almost everything back to 4 and then still kind of like chipped at it a little bit. Uh, so it, it, it was a little bit of a shame and I, I wish they, they they could have had something golden with four I feel like there's just a lot of letdowns kind of thing so 
I'm, I'm gonna keep it at the actually disappointed, but I, you know what? I, I feel like that's actually a little harsh because I, I feel like there there is a lot of good in there, like Bookworm, uh, the Mario like Tetris puzzle game. Uh, it's just like coming off of like one of the gold standards of Mario Party to four is such a downgrade. Like it's hard to at first not think of it as like such a disappointment kind of thing. Uh, we're gonna move on to five. My actual personal least favorite. Uh, and there's, you know, obviously a good amount of reasons why. I actually don't feel like a lot of the mini games were all too good or special in five. Uh, a lot of the boards, or actually, I guess the main theme of the game is like this, like dream world of sorts, but they don't really capitalize or do anything with the dream world. It feels like, even with like the story mode, it's just like a bunch of like Bowser Juniors and you gotta like take all their money kind of thing. Um, the boards themselves are actually just kind of very lackluster and bad and there's like I, I feel like there's like a lot of paths and detours and it, it doesn't feel like cohesive it doesn't feel like it's together or anything it just feels like everything's like put together and you just gotta do the work yourself uh the items the orbs this is the first game with like the orb system and it's just atrocious there's no stores you can't you know pick what you want you just get it by random and then you have to pay to use the orbs which like i get the argument that like well you gotta pay to get the orbs and then use the orbs but it's just it's weird that you don't get to pick the orbs and then you have to pay to use the orbs and then like where when they're on the board like they're even less descriptive with what it is who it is things like that uh than like six and seven kind of thing like those give you a little bit more insight as to like what kind of what kind of orb it is who it is and things like but five is just there with an icon and there could be multiple, you know, orbs that have the same icon. So I don't really like it at all. Definitely my least favorite. Uh, I will only play that for like a sub goal kind of thing. Uh, let's move on to, let's move on to a good one. Let's, let's, you know, let's get, let's be a little happy here. Six. I know a lot of people really like six. Uh, I like six. I don't think it's too bad. Uh, they improved a lot over five because, you know, pretty much since like two slash three, they've just been kind of going downhill. So uh, six was a good turnaround. They fixed the orb system. The boards are pretty charming. The day and night cycles they brought back from Horror Land, uh, Mario Party 2. Uh, good items. Again, I would say good mini games. Uh, just all around great pick. It's on GameCube, so obviously... Uh, you know, that's one of the golden staples of the GameCube era. What is this song? Get out of here, sir. Uh, so, uh, I think 6 is a fantastic pick. I know this one might be a little controversial because I feel like a lot of people think 6 is like one of the pinnacles. They just put it on a pedestal kind of thing. Uh, me, mm, not so much. Uh, I will definitely play it. I do think it's very enjoyable. But I, I can't give it that, that incredible praise that uh, you know a lot of other people do. Uh, let's move on to let's do eight Br Bring it back down a few notches kind of thing eight was a fairly big disappointment I would say uh, it was like uh, was that the only one for the Wii? No nine was also for the Wii, but eight had like weird frame rate issues uh, They switched to a candy system and the candy felt very uninspired uh, Just really lackluster the, the overall like actual look at the game too felt really weird like that the 3d and eight compared to th four through seven felt like it like looked muddy it looked like they didn't know what they were doing even though it's like literally like the same horsepower the same like engine kind of thing it just looked bad the boards besides like the train one i guess the hotel one's pretty dope too actually i'll, I'll give them those too uh, probably the hotel one then the train one kind of thing but um those were like whatever i guess the mini games like wh th what about them like i don't know eight just didn't really have anything going for it uh the thing that pops in my mind just because i guess maybe i'm just like a super nerd or something like that it's just like the frame rate issues like how'd you how'd you how'd you mess that up like uh, i don't know i don't know very weird very weird uh and then coming off of eight we'll do nine and you see where i put that put an okay you know mid-tier kind of thing and let me tell you why i did that Obviously, I'm gonna tell you why, but you, you're like you're probably thinking in your head like there's just nothing really to nine, and I don't feel like that's like necessarily true. Yeah, they changed the formula, not by choice. 
but because they had to because like where Hudson went with Konami and now it's like the dark age of Konami and things like that so they couldn't use like the original formula different story for a different day but uh nonetheless nine I, I like I I didn't completely mind the cart system it you know change of pace isn't always bad obviously with Mario Party 9 10 it was bad but you know it did add a little bit of new strategy kind of thing uh that I thought was you know for our first few plays it was kind of cute kind of charming I didn't really mind it the mini stars that you gotta click a little weird but it, there, there could be worse things I guess probably maybe who knows uh the boards like they're not you know like oh yeah I definitely remember that board but from the ones I did play I think like going up like a volcano or there's uh like multiple island one um I don't know they're cute I like them I dig them uh and the mini games when you got them actually play the mini games they're actually phenomenal mini games they're actually like all like incredibly fun I know that's like kind of weird to say I really enjoyed the mini games at uh Mario Party 9 it's just you don't really get to play them so like yeah the original recipe got changed drastically and you don't really get to play mini games and you're not really like clicking stars but I don't know like from you know from like the handful of times i played it i i enjoyed it uh I, I guess maybe like one of the worst parts is like you gotta play like a, with a wiimote so you just have to you know kind of have space from everyone else so you're just not you know fucking clocking them in the head and whatnot uh but i actually don't really mind nine all too much uh just like how i really mind five kind of thing it might be like just because you know it's been five seven ten years since i've played them kind of thing but off the top of my head i I really liked them. I really did. Uh, let's also get the original Mario Party out of the way. Uh, you know, it, it was definitely rough. Uh, weirdly enough, you know, also had the lawsuit where people injured their hand from a lot of the rotating games and whatnot, and then they had to like issue out the gloves. And I maybe it's just me. I've actually never been able to find a Mario Party like glove for sale. I think that'd be a really cool collectible but uh couldn't find it the the boards they seem very brutal like they don't seem very like novice or even like intermediate player friendly it seems like they just kind of like hammer you maybe maybe i'm thinking about too harsh but it, they definitely kind of beat your ass and they're a little rough especially like towards the late game and whatnot they can get really really rough mini games no, no, the mini games are actually all kind of bad. Obviously, you know, there's like a few hidden gems uh, with like mushroom mix up and things like that. But to be honest, when I look at the rest of these, like Mario Party 1 just doesn't have too many, too many good notable things. Besides, it was a good skeleton for two, you know. Uh, let's do another top tier one. What, what, what do you say? What do you say? I feel like a Mario Party DS is actually the most slept on Mario Party in the series. Uh, I picked it up at like a disc replay for like, I don't know, $10 maybe. And you only need one cart to play with four friends. That's busted. All they gotta do is do download play and they pretty much get like the full game. It's incredible. That's insane. Portable Mario Party. Uh, what they did with like the item system where like everything's cheaper and I believe you can buy like multiple items at the shop. Incredible. The boards, very nice, especially for like a portable. Uh, like, it, it's just, it was insane. The mini games were also super fun. They make use of uh, like the mic also. I know there's a few games like that. I can't remember if any of them actually use a touchscreen. I want to say yes, but I actually can't recall that. But it's a solid, I'm not even going to say shrunk down version of Mario Party because to be honest, it feels like a full fledged Mario Party. It's it's absolutely insane. I think DS is incredible. I wish I had more people to play DS with. Uh, especially since you don't even have to have the game. You just get it from, you know, the host. It's, it's insane. I can't say enough nice things about DS. Uh, if two and then the, you know, other one, which, spoilers, it's going to be three, weren't actually ridiculously amazing, this would be, like, the best Mario Party, weirdly enough. Which, uh, you know, no, we're actually gonna save three for last. Let's do, uh, let's do seven. This also is probably another controversial pick, uh, but I actually like six 
over seven. Uh, and to be honest, the only thing holding seven back from being a perf perfect top tier Mario Party is the Bowser uh, mini games introduction or interruption. Excuse me, not introduction. We all know who he is. Um, every five turns, it's very obnoxious. I don't agree with that at all. I have no idea why they did that. If I ever did like Mario Party Seven net play, I would definitely have a cheat code to like get rid of that because it's so whack. It really is. But the boards, they're all okay. Obviously, they're not all fun, but a lot. Windmillville, uh, with uh, uh, you know, I'm drawing a blank here. I'm gonna look silly. I feel like uh, doesn't seven have the heckin the one with the three chest? I think that's it. Obviously, I don't have a lot of reasons for seven now that I kind of think about it. Uh, I just remember as a kid, I oh no no the mini games are obviously good. I feel like a lot of the stuff just kind of flows over from like Mario Party Mario Party, but the character. Uh, special orbs. That was a nice touch. Um, yeah, I wish I could actually talk a little bit more about Seven, but now that I think about it, I'm just like drawing massive blanks, and I apologize for that. But uh, off the top of my head, I definitely enjoy. So I think Topeka Peak. I think that was the name of it, is also in Seven. Um, I feel like the orbs were a little bit more uh, versatile, a little bit more. Um, I'm not gonna say like wild, but a little bit more fun. They have a, a lot more actions to do. Um, where I felt like Mario Party 6 played it safe and had a little little bit of a linear route with orbs kind of thing, which is understandable given how bad 5 did with things like that. So, uh, but we're, we're starting to narrow it down here. Uh, you can ignore that other four. That one just has like the, the white background for like some reason. Uh, let's move on to Mario Party Top 100. I'm gonna put it in the good because, uh, like, yeah, okay, it's not a traditional Mario Party, but that's okay because it's not trying to be. Uh, and it's on the 3DS, another portable. It's a, it, it's, it's a good staple. And it does actually have a good amount of, like, likable games that people enjoyed throughout the, you know, like, past two decades. Uh, I think when I played it, because I, I think there's like a story mode or something like that to like unlock all the mini games. Um, I felt like there was like a good like 70 to like 80% like, oh, I enjoy or I really like these mini games kind of thing. Uh, and you know, obviously there's gonna be some questionable ones, but overall I've actually felt like Nintendo should have had more of these like top 100 games. Cause you know, there's like 12 Mario parties out there, you know, give or take kind of thing. There's a lot of mini games. Uh, and for them to just come out with top 100 like two years ago, that was a little weird. I'm glad they did it because, you know, at you know, a certain point in time, you're like, oh, they're just kind of not for some reason. But that's I hope it sold well. I have to assume it didn't, especially since this was during the age of like when Mario Party had a really bad reputation, just like Paper Mario. And I'm not going to say like Mario and Luigi, but it was like on a decline and whatnot. They're doing remakes and whatnot. So people didn't really have faith. Uh, but it, it's weird to have a like not traditional like Mario Party up there, but it's good. It's very solid. I think I, I hope more people give it a shot. Uh, and I feel like these next two are going to be really, really, really good. I'm going to start with Super Mario Party. It's actually the top of great. They went back to the original formula. I guess they either were able to or they're able to get the talks with Hudson slash Konami, figured out things like that. Um, and it, it has a lot of flavor, variety to it that like the other Mario parties just don't offer. Of course, the rules are lower, so you can get screwed way more easily. But the ally system is a nice way to not only help your rules, but just like implement other characters, other ideas, things like that. Uh, it's unfortunate that it only has four boards and they're all very, very lackluster. Uh, the gimmick to them, it's just, it's whatever. It's not anything super crazy. The items are also very uninspired unless you land on an item space. 
then you can get some pretty creative and nice items but the ones that you can get from the shops they never change and it's just like the second shop you know the one that's technically hard to get to uh it, like i'm not gonna it almost feels like a cheater shop obviously cheater is a strong word but you know the you get the golden pipe the custom dice block and then like i think a golden shroom i think everything's golden there so you know it's it's like whatever i wish they could have done more with the items i wish they could have done more with the boards i wish they could have given us more boards uh the online function is one of the worst implementation of an online service if you want to call it that of like any nintendo game i can think of and don't even get me started on nintendo and their online and whatnot because i'll go on a huge ass tangent about that i'm furious that nintendo and their horrible god awful online but the mini games are actually insanely like, good i love it uh i wish that you didn't have to pull boy play with just joy cons you know the little controllers and whatnot but at least the the functions they make you do on a joy con don't like hurt your hands it's not too strenuous things like that so uh, excellent character diversity excellent you know use of characters and their dice um excellent mini games they got the rhythm mode they even got the mode where it's like 2v2 on like you play on the boards as normal but instead of like set path it's just a grid and allies are scattered throughout and whatnot that's the mode i think most people should be playing is the grid mode not the traditional mario party method just because it's it's a lot more enjoyable it really is it really is and then last but certainly not least the best mario party out there i think bar none like it's almost like you can't even dispute it mario party 3 and who boy can i talk about mario party for quite some time mario party 3 has i feel like done everything right and still does everything right i actually even think the graphics you know hold up you know fairly nicely for an n64 game obviously you know they got sharp edges and whatnot and it you know it definitely shows that it's from 2000 but i still think it's charming the music ooh, the music is so good i love the music actually a few days ago i was listening to mario party 3 30 minute long loop uh board music just because uh i actually really liked it that much uh implemented three item uses and the items were absolutely phenomenal the ultra rare items such a nice touch you can get item bags hidden blocks it wasn't just coins stars and skeleton keys is now you can get these items at like a one percent chance and boy can they really just turn a game wacky watch barter box gambler's coin coop cards kind of like you know what I mean? whatever but i mean it has its use for sure the mini games oh the mini games mini games are fantastic the story mode uh obviously not the best use of a story mode but it did bring in party mode and dual mode together in such a nice loving way that it it worked out and they didn't drag on you know the the party mode thing it was like 15 turns i think that's very pleasant that's a nice decent length for every board to be played on there's just so much strategy that can go into mario party 3 with the items it brought you know the most broken item probably in mario party history being the reverse room i'm glad it's only in one game and it's this game it adds so much the boards have so much life to them it's insane every single like one of them minus maybe creepy cavern i feel like i have a lot of life to them and even creepy cavern even though it's probably my least favorite board uh like it, it's it has a lot to think about a lot to go into kind of thing um it's just I, I can't i can't say enough about mario party 3 it's just it's such a good game and when i was talking about this you know during the, the live twitch thing uh because like chat will be like directly below me and whatnot on that and if you want to watch that again in the description uh i feel like that was the one i talked about the most because people are like uh you know oh well you know reverse rooms aren't that good because you can't get all the way across the board but the thing is you can because reverse rooms let you go in junctions that you couldn't normally ever go into and things like that so it's just like you could be top left of spiny desert take it down hit the cactus mess up the cactus on purpose 
and now you're all the way to the right side and then you can go up hit the boo potentially even twice depending on where you are and where's your rolls things like that so reverse room is great plunder chest not broken but still incredibly well and i feel like they even brought in the barter box to kind of offset you know the like the nerf of the plunder chest in a sense uh the two shop system with cellular shopper it's i don't know it's great everything's great it's perfect i love it it's incredible the only bad part is it's on an n64 controller but uh i don't know i don't know i love it i love it Mario party 3 is actually in my like top 10 favorite games of all time i know it's really weird to say about a mario party um but i mean if there was a mario party to do it it's mario party 3 uh but with that said uh that this is my mario party tier list uh, this actually went on a little bit longer than i thought it would have and uh funny thing is i think this actually doubled the length of time from the original twitch clip but uh you know i feel it was nice to be able to be a little bit more personable talk a little bit more about the mario parties without chat distraction and things like that uh so if you have any opinions about my opinions or you want to put your opinions down below you know let me read them i'm always interested i genuinely am uh with that said i believe that is it if you want any of my social media links facebook twitter the other youtube which is smash content uh, don't forget to follow here if you want to talk to me on discord things like that links down below again along with the raw twitch clip if you'd like to hear me banter with chat about it things like that but until then i will see you uh either in stream i stream wednesday through sunday uh wednesdays are like 3 p.m because i got mario party or mario party mario kart tournament and then thursday through sunday 6 p.m eastern to about like 9 or 10 or so things like that. So I'll either see you in stream or I'll see you hopefully next week for the next tier list video.